What are we doing? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today is something I've been wanting to do for a while since I bought the TRX, and I haven't really found anyone that's done it yet, an all-wheel drive burnout with our TRX. And we've got some new uh, microphones here. We got some it's neck bling. Fluffers. Everybody's been you know, not complaining a lot, but want us to upgrade our sound system on our videos. So we're trying it on this video. So you see a little fuzzy thing on me, you know what it is. So yeah, TRX, we're gonna do an all-wheel drive burnout with it. I'm gonna walk around the back of the shop here and get my wheel loader and uh, pull out here. And then that thing weighs like 75,000 pounds. So this is not going to move it. And we're getting our parking lot repaved. We've already got this side done. And they're coming to repave the front out here in about Saturday. So I'll see if we can burn some tires off of the TRX. Those are nice new tires. It's too. under warranty. I called my buddy Justin works at Dodger Ship said, hey, we're probably gonna bring you my broken truck tomorrow. <laughs> so let's go get the wheel loader. Man, a nice, beautiful truck. And that guy, that guy walking back there, he's just gonna ruin it. Totally forgot about my pavement here. We're gonna have to drive this thing over. Ah, it's gonna be awfully heavy. The Iron Giant is about to serve its purpose. Yeehaw! I think he's having too much fun. Put it in reverse, Terry! Put it in reverse! All right, I think we're about where I need to be. Aaron's gonna sit in here and hold the brakes and I'll, uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. Let me give him a quick size comparison. You got the Ram TRX versus a Kawasaki. <laughs> so I've got the strap here that we uh, pulled this thing down the road with literally pulled it down the highway because it wasn't running or wasn't wanting to drive. So it says this rate, it says never exceed 14,400 pounds. I don't know if it does or not. We're gonna find out, it shouldn't. So I'm gonna put that right there. We'll figure out a way to hook that up to the truck. Not quite sure how we're gonna do that. Have to find a pinnel hitch or something. I think there's one way out back there in the shop truck. So I'll run and grab it and then we'll get the TRX hooked up to it. The only thing I didn't think about is you're going to have to sit in the cab. That's what the mics are for. And hold the brake. But who's going to film the truck doing a burnout? <laughs> didn't think about that one. I think I've got a uh, tripod in the semi. I'll go get it. All right. I'm out of breath because I just ran the whole way there. So we got our hitch. Or I should turn it over. We got Clevis. And we got a pin. Can't wait for all the TRX groups to uh, ridicule me. All right, I'm gonna back it up. We'll hook it up. Oh. We do low or high? Probably I don't do know. Low first. Probably low first. I always forget that you can't uh, open the door and uh, have the and move or go forward or backwards. Kind of sucks on these trucks. We really need a third person. This video is not sponsored by Warren Winch. <laughs> Yet. Yet. <laughs> there we go. So it's either going to go well or this hook is going to go through the tailgate. <laughs> 
Who needs a backup camera anyway? We really need someone else though. All right, well, we'll figure it out. It is crazy sitting in here, how small that thing looks. Put it down, put her down. Right there. <laughs> oh boy, let's go. You guys are gonna hear this freaking. <sighs> let's put her in four high. It's gotta be a neutral for that. Let's try four low first. <laughs> Are we good? It's trying. <laughs> oh my goodness, this thing, oh, it did shut off? It's so full of freaking smoke. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Oh boy, did it do all four? It did, oh my god, it put it put holes in the pavement. <laughs> it did all four, it pulled posse. <laughs> it pulled posse all four. I think, we've got new, I think we've got our new Cletus and Cars truck. Yeah. <laughs> Should we see if it'll lift it? <laughs> we had somebody stop by. <laughs> oh yeah. It literally burned a hole. Oh my goodness, there's no there's no rubber left. <laughs> Last time. All right, so right now, guys, I'm gonna put it in some kind of different mode, sport mode maybe, then maybe it'll act better. Sport mode. Let's try it again. We good? So I learned it doesn't like, it doesn't like high range second gear, it just goes <laughs> and stops. Let me have the phone, let's show them how bad the tires are. All right, so you guys have been getting to see from the side, but here's the tires. So the rear tires really aren't that bad because it's kind of picking up on it. 
for the front are what's taking like the most abuse because all the weight is on the front. But look at those babies. Look at all the rubber on the ground. Ah. I'm just gonna let it eat side to side and just let it freaking rip. All right, let's do that. So there's literally tire stuff in the freaking door handles on this thing. All right, so the nice lady said she's gonna move her truck out of the way in case the strap breaks or something like that. I'm gonna put it back in low range. Maybe put my seatbelt on. Maybe that's why it's been acting a little funny. Let's see. I'll put her back in low. Alright, low range, here we go. Manual shift. I'm pulling a big wheel loader! <laughs> I caught third gear, I was doing like 70 miles an hour. I feel bad for that guy. <laughs> <laughs> right? All right, now let's go drive it down the road and play with it. We really haven't done any fun videos with it yet. Hey, I think I need to uh, check something underneath the truck. Can you pick it up a little bit for me? All right, so we're gonna pick this thing up. We don't have anything to check, but hey, we know the wheel loader will freaking pick this unit up. Keep coming forward, keep going forward. Keep going forward. Oh my goodness gracious. Keep going forward. All right, now pick it up. Oh lordy. I should not be allowed to have this much fun. Send her on up, son. <laughs> Strap's gonna break now, like all times. Come, come, come forward as you pick up. Hey, look at all that suspension. That's a lot of, holy crap. Talk about suspension droop, keep going. <laughs> keep going. Oh my goodness, keep going. Pick it on up, son. Come forward. I wish we had a way we could just cut it and let it fall. You got next? If you're not careful, you'll put it right through the bumper. <laughs> Look at this thing. All kinds of cool stuff under here. Big old, big old coil springs. Got them big old shocks on this thing. Dang. Look at the burnout marks. <laughs> Pick it up some more. <laughs> Pick it up. Keep going. I probably shouldn't have it running while it's doing this. All right, send her down. Go down fast. Fast, go. Just go. Let me back up a little. All right, go. Oh, well, that was uneventful. Make it back up? No, go down. All right, our all-wheel drive burnout is complete. Our loader's leaking oil like it usually does, so we're going to go park it. All right, go park it. Oh, hang on. Let me unhook it first. That might help. Hey, drag it some. I swear I don't know what happened to my transmission there, Mr. Dodge Man. <laughs> Yikes. That is not good for it. <laughs> oh, boy. I can see all the hater comments now. All right. Oh, she's a gushing oil now. All right, go park it out back, right where it was. 
Remember how to shut it off? No. <laughs> I'll ride with you. Let's not back into traffic here. All right, we got Aaron, a big rig, big rig tractor driver here. You need to cut it, pal. Look at those sweet burnout marks. That thing was getting it. Like, and once it caught up there, it was like it kept detuning itself. All right. Got the people over at the bar. They don't know what to freaking think over there. They're like, what in the world are these fools doing? Oh, don't take out my fence. What are you doing? Turn it. Turn it. Good Lord. I forgot how big this thing is. Yeah, you <laughs> forgot for sure. Go. Don't stop on the uh, new asphalt. Turn it, bub. So, who needs to resurface your asphalt when you can just press in your rubber? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, look at the tires. It's a good thing this isn't dad's parking lot no more. That's a fact. He'd be, up there, he'd be going crazy on it when he watches this video. He's still going to go crazy. Look at all the rubber in the front bumper. We should have burned them freaking down. That's what I should have done. Look at the rubber all over the truck. We're going to have to go to the uh, car wash and get that stuff knocked off. It'll freaking be on there a while. I'm Just throw that in the bed, out. we'll use it for next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we gotta go to Roll King and get some stuff. And we haven't really done any videos playing around with this truck yet, like on the highway. Oh lord. It's still smoking. It's on fire. And uh, go get some stuff from Roll King. Safety first. Halfway. <laughs> we good? We are ready. Pull out in front of a Challenger. Here we go. It's in sport mode too. Oh! This thing's kind of funny, like, if you get it, like, at the right point in the throttle, it goes and it throws you to see. If you don't, it's like, it's in the wrong gear and not in the power band, so it's like, eh, I'm not going fast today. So, alright, let's book it down to Rural King. Alright, so we are on a private dirt road. Oh, there was someone behind us. Whoops. <laughs> we were sitting at that stop sign for a minute. Or two. <laughs> we're going to put it in mud slash sand mode. Give her a little boosted line, or not boosted. Well, it is boosted, I yeah. guess. So we'll give it like a, it's got two step in this thing. There's a car coming behind us. I feel bad for it. No, it didn't do the two step. Launch mode. No, 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 don't do that. Shit. <laughs> Good lord. Look at the look at the dust behind us on the camera. <laughs> it's so smooth, it's literally like glass. You know, I think if we go fast enough, my tires won't get dirty. <laughs> you guys seen how clean this thing is. I literally just had a detail by my buddy Donnie today. Well the interior was really dirty. And we're already on dirt road. And now the exterior is dirty too. Because he put tire shine on too, so. I hit this jump. Not much of a jump. It is smooth as glass, though. That truck in front of us is gone. They had to. So have here been we hard. are. We're, we're going a little, a little fast, but they're absolutely gone. We can't even see. They're still in the distance. Jeez. We're rolling up my buddy Chaz's house. You guys probably remember some Chaz. Remember Chaz? If y'all are like OG viewers. Um, See what they got going on. He's got a lot of really cool rides. He's got some LS swap mud trucks, little C10s, all kinds of cool stuff. So, he don't know we're coming. We're just gonna roll up on him. 101 ways to repo or no, 101 ways to uh, avoid the warranty on your Ram T Rex. We were just talking about if we made this thing into a mega truck. Like no one's done that yet. We we're just like if the bank ever came to repo it, you know, obviously I got a little bit of a loan on it. They'd be like, what in the world? <laughs> All right, so we made it to Chaz's house. There's Austin on the phone like usual. Nothing new there. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta show him the drop top Chevrolet and tell him what happened. Hi, right, Bruce. You just had this thing cleaned too. No, no, it's, it looks good like this though. Like with the tires, it's a little dusty. Not muddy, but just dusty. It looks good. All right, we're out here at the Miller residence. He's got a one week LS swap, crop top, drop top. Crop top. <laughs> Are you going to start it up or what? LS swapped 1942 Chevrolet. Yeah. A, a good old three wheeler. Yeah. <laughs> what in the world? Sounds like it's about to take off. Spaceship, <laughs> oh, jet engine starting up. 
Uh, LS one in it. Sounds like you tuned it. It's gonna stall. It's yep. just warming up. <laughs> Got a Jerry Bombs on her. I like how it's got leaf springs and it's got the factory. Yeah, it's on the bottom. Though. On the bottom though. <laughs> uh, zooming on oil pressure. Where's it at? Good God. Did you change the oil pump in it? Yeah, put a melling. Melling, oh, melling. got that high volume, high pressure. High volume. Golly, you just put fuel all over my leg. So he went out to Rancho a couple days ago and handled the trailer, wasn't paying attention, and then the limb caught it and ripped the whole top off of it. It was nice. Okay, so we're gonna see if this thing will do a two-wheel drive burnout. I don't think it will because it's four-wheel drive auto. So let's see. No, it won't. Nope. It just wants to go. Maybe we need to find like a wet road or a wet night and uh, we can do some all-wheel drive donuts or something in a parking lot. That's what we need to do. All right, so I made up here to Rural King and I need this hydraulic fitting or one similar to it. And they don't have T-diddly squat, which I have to stu stuff to choose from here. Good Lord, it's like they're out of everything. Well, crap. So I got the fitting I was looking for. It's a 3 8 pipe inside to half inch pipe on the outside. It's gonna look a little ugly, but it'll work. Cast iron pipe threat fitting instead of a hydraulic or brass fitting black bush. All right, I got a typical car wash video coming. I'm gonna get this thing back clean because I just had it detailed today. I didn't really show you guys interior, but our feet got a little dirty in here. But Donnie did a stand up job. This thing looking sweet. Time to wash it. Go tell them the number one rule about this car wash. What's that? Don't use the brush. Oh, for sure, because they wash <laughs> mud in here all the time. Is this that is a car wash? Oh my God. Yeah, this is actually really clean right now. Usually there's like full of mud in here. So we'll get this thing cleaned up. The first thing we're gonna do is hit it with the tire cleaner. Usually takes 37 hours for this stuff to come out. So we'll hit it with this. It's usually like simple green, I think is what the tire cleaner is. And uh, like it's just washing off, so this is actually gonna work out good. See, there's that green, simple green. It's like the best cleaner you can get. So we'll get it all coated in this and wash it with some soap, make it look brand new again. <laughs> 